Hey Australia, you're in love with the Mitsubishi ASX. In 2016, it was Australia's second best selling small SUV after the funky Mazda CX-3. The thing is though, it's been around since 2010. So what is the secret of the ASX's success? Since its launch in the middle of 2010, the ASX has been regularly refined and updated to help keep it competitive against much newer rivals like the Mazda CX-3 and Honda HR-V. There are two grades to choose from, LS and XLS, in either front drive petrol or all wheel drive turbo diesel geysers. Kicking things off is the LS petrol manual from $25,000. It uses Mitsubishi's tried and trusted 2.0-litre four-cylinder petrol engine that has powered the closely related Lancer and Outlander since the mid-2000s. The XLS you see here adds additional equipment like leather upholstery, heated front seats, a larger touchscreen, sunroof and satellite navigation. We reckon that, among small SUVs, the ASX sits in the Goldilocks zone. Neither too big nor too little, its size is just about right for most Australians. That big car feeling continues the moment you step behind the wheel, because the two litre engine is gutsy off the line, has got plenty of poke out on the open road, and while the Mitsubishi's stay dynamics won't have you searching for the long way home, the handling is safe, predictable and sure-footed. Although the interior has remained largely unchanged since it's been released, it still works really well. The driving position is excellent, the instruments are really clear, the ventilation works perfectly, and everything pretty much falls to hand really easily. It's based on the Outlander platform, so it's got a particularly long wheelbase with plenty of headroom and lots of shoulder space as well, which means that you can basically fit five people really comfortably inside. In terms of value for money, the ASX absolutely shines. Not only does it come with a five year warranty, it's also really well equipped for a $25,000 base car, including a reverse camera, rear parking sensors, and quite sexy 18 inch alloy wheels that make the car look far from basic. Unfortunately, the ASX can't escape the fact that it's been around since 2010, and that's most obvious inside with hard, cold plastics that give it a bit of a cheap, lo-fi feeling. Also, it probably wouldn't rate five stars if it was crash tested today because it lacks the essential active driver safety systems such as AEB autonomous emergency braking and the option of lane departure warning and blind spot monitoring. That, if nothing else, really shows how far behind this Mitsubishi has fallen in terms of technology. But perhaps the most disappointing thing about the ASX is how hard it rides. The suspension just doesn't have enough compliance. There's too much road noise and tire noise coming through, so conversation can sometimes be difficult between the front and rear seat passengers, and that squanders one of this car's biggest advantages, the fact that it's so well packaged. Adding to the assault on your ears is the CVT transmission, which flares when you need to accelerate, and keeps doing so probably longer than you expect, pretty much decimating refinement. With its chunky styling, spacious interior, long warranty, generous equipment levels and gutsy engine, it's easy to see why the Mitsubishi ASX remains one of the darlings of the small SUV set. And if you can look past the hard ride and noisy drivetrain, it's also a pretty good drive. Just keep in mind, there's an all new ASX coming out soon.